Hey everybody, how's it going? Bjork the Bear here, and today we are playing Star Sector. And we are currently looking at our character menu, and uh, we finally spent some of those points that we've been accruing. And uh, some of the things we've taken, uh, we've boosted up our technology tree and uh, put one into combat. So this character, uh, Bjork here, uh, is going to basically revolve around combat um, you can set them into different paths if you want to uh, one that makes sense for me would definitely be combat because I much much more enjoy hunting down a bounty than uh, doing a like a trade mission or something like that so one of the things I did take though in the uh, technology tree was the gunner implants. Uh, reason I took them is because uh, minus 50% re uh, weapon recoil, uh, which I mean is self-explanatory, a plus 100% target leading accuracy for auto-firing weapons, meaning uh, my point defense lasers or anything like that are gonna auto-target and uh, eliminate enemies uh, a little more accurately and then uh, plus 15 percent ballistic and energy weapon range so it's given me more range to reach my enemy before they can reach me uh, the other thing was ballistic and energy projectile speed over in the uh, combat tree just because uh, the faster they move the less likely the enemy is to uh, swerve around the bullet so <laughs> Yeah, uh, so we took those. Um, taking a look at where... Uh, let's take a look at the fleet. Um, I don't think it's changed since last time. Uh, we just have our uh, light destroyer, the wolf, a couple of kites, a... what are you? A escort frigate, the wayfarer, and a... I don't even know what you are. Scout. <laughs> the little guy so we've uh we got a couple of them but we are here in tritachion space at the moment uh we last i believe we're in the corvus system take a look at the full map so we have made our way up from the corvus system up to the uh hybrazel system um mostly because i want to side with tritachion uh, or at least be friendly with them above the other groups. And uh, this one, I think, is one of the bigger Tritachion areas. So we, uh, yeah, it just it made sense to come here. So we are going to... Ooh. Perfect, a bounty. Let's actually take a look at that. Please be close. Oh... <laughs> uh, which one are you? Tritachion, the new one. Oh, so far. So far. Such an easy kill, but so far. I think that would actually kill us trying to get out to them. Um, so to get out to them, it would take 150 units of fuel. We only have 280, so unless... Yeah, that's another one there. What is the closest planet? That guy there, which that would take 69 units of fuel to get to. So we could go down here, hit that, and then go out here. But that's a, that's a big risk. If I run into something out here with such a small fleet, I'm going to get thrashed and it's not good so let's avoid that and yeah we're, we're just gonna do what i was originally doing so we're gonna come here to however you pronounce that we're gonna take a shuttle down and we're going to speak to somebody so another easy way to get jobs is to go to the bar so we're gonna flag down an academic with a tripod and let's see 
accept a promise to ship the AI core with a given address and the specifically shield. Okay, so what this is, he wants me to go take a look at a, uh, a, oh, what's it called? A Domain Era Probe, I think it is. And uh, he wants me to find an AI core and ship it to somebody. So we're actually, we're not going to do that because I don't want to, I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh let's try here and see if we have a better mission from these guys so take a shuttle down make an eye to the pather okay nothing there now i wonder if Nope. So... No, okay. So we're not gonna find anything good there. Um, but since we're here, let's go ahead and take a look and see if we have any ships that we could buy. Really doesn't look like it. <laughs> Take a look at the black market. Not much going on. We have a light carrier, but that's more expensive than we can hope to afford. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to keep looking with what we have. So let's see about bounties nearby. that's not bad this guy is pretty close he is rumored to be hiding out near a barren world in the Duzak star system so let's mark him take a look at the actual map ah uh, no planet data but being a core world there's no second gravity well that he could be hiding behind who we need we need stuff before we go do this trade for goods oh it hurts <laughs> uh, we can't afford all of that anyway so we'll go with 150 hurts so bad okay so, fleet, make sure we have enough people for the fight. And we got plenty of fuel. Yeah, we're on our way. Let's do this. Oh god, don't go into the sun. Sun bad. So something else we could do is some of these trade, uh trade things but I'm not a big fan of them um, I'm a simple man point me at something I'll shoot it we like threaded the needle there <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't get it by anything all right slow down and let's get to the right spot and order a jump okay so we are oh we're in a pirate system as well let's find that barren world and get the hell out of here i'll try this one first no dice so let's try the other one hopefully nothing all right is there another barren world out here 
it's just those two. There's a pirate sensor, so that's telling me that there's pirates in the area. Let's make sure that's still there. Arcadia. This is the only place it could be. Alright, let's get risky. Throw up an active sensor. Nothing. Alright. We're gonna travel around here for a good minute and try and find any signs of life. Nope, we got something. There he is, he's running. All right. It's just little old me. Why are you running, my friend? Oh, he's hiding in the magnetism. Ah, okay. So this here is a unique situation. Uh, they have a sun that has a magnetic field around it. Magnetic fields ruin your uh, detection range. Uh, they leave you detectable, but uh, the detecting range, detection range, blah blah blah, is way hindered by it. So, yeah. <laughs> but we do have our target here. He is indeed running, which he goofed because he used his burn drive too early. Now it leaves me able to catch up with him if I find him. There he is. Boom! And we're on him. So hopefully this will be an easy bounty for us and uh, we can make money. Continue. Deploy all. Alright, let's do this. Let's see if this thing's gotten... Or let's see if this destroyer is at all worth it. So against smaller unarmored ship or uh, unshielded ships, excuse me, he might do pretty well. That phase lance is uh, pretty devastating to non-armored units. Let's keep the keep him in our sights. Hit him with the phase lance. That actually did a lot to his shield. Oh yeah, we're shredding right through. Boom! Just go down. Thank you, sir. Alright, your buddy died. Now it's your turn. He was my lover. Oh yeah, you're not going to last very long. Oh, he took his uh thrusters out. And night night time. Ooh. And he's down. Good uh Good follow up with that rocket barrage there. Yeah, you're going down too, my dude. And I think that's our actual target. There he goes. So let's make sure the other guys aren't able to get away. Not that it would matter at all towards the bounty, but... We don't want to... We don't want to lose them. Oh, no, sir, you're not running. And boom. Laser focus. No pun intended. Alright, we're gonna go give him a hand because that kite's pretty damaged and he's actually taking a little bit of damage too. That guy's uh, dodging around him. The five Ds of dodgeball. No, he actually might get away. Oh, I think it, that might be the guy that we're after. I don't know. I can't tell by that little face there. But he needs to... He needs to get taken out, though. No survivors. Please? Oh, no. He's going to get away. Oh, he hauled ass. Fuck this shit, I'm out. He he was not goofing around. Uh-uh, I see all those other ships coming at me. I'll pass. 
All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and just claim victory. Now. Campo. So we're gonna pursue and we're gonna have our second in command take uh take the rest of the fleet in there. And he escaped again. Okay, so continue. Pick through the wreckage. Take stuff to get us back up on our feet. And it looks like we got our our bounty. So, alright, that'll do. That'll do. Okay. So, that being said, let's take a look back at our lists here. So, oh hey, we have a system bounty as well. And it's for Tritachion. That is great. Alright. So we are going to jump out of here. Uh, thank you for your sacrifice. Uh, o Kempo or o Sempo, whatever your name was. We are going to go back to that uh, system we were just in. And hopefully they haven't cleaned out too many of the pirates. So that way we can get in there and uh, do some damage. Ooh, boy. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, actually, that is the system I want. Boop. And drop. Okay, so throw up a blip. Nothing. Not even Tritachion. Peculia. Oh, okay, that's a salvage fleet. <laughs> so, later in the game, pirates will start coming at you with armadas. <laughs> they are full of big ships. Full of big ships. Not good for anybody. So, let's go check their planet. The pirate planet. And see if there's any fun to be had this way. Nothing. Okay. Oop, and... So they're pursuing my fleet. Oh, that's... that's a freighter. That's a destroyer. Eek. Well, we'll find out. So, engage, continue, launch everyone, and deploy. So, hopefully, that enforcer won't be too difficult. Uh, the enforcer is definitely a step above me, uh, my destroyer. But with any hope, we can get in there and uh, do some damage. I'm actually more worried about this guy. He doesn't have a shield either, so... Oh! That's no good. We gotta... Out-damage him, basically. Okay, our... Uh, thrusters are back up. So we're good. Alright, that's one down. So, pretty much that big, large flash that you're seeing there, kind of tells you that uh, if there's a bounty or something um, it'll count towards that bounty at least I think I'm not a hundred percent on that to be honest with you come on buddy <laughs> you're going down it's just a matter of time All right, so we lost a kite out of that we need to focus that enforcer is what we need to do. I'll leave this to the Wayfarer. He can uh, he can deal with it from here. There's that enforcer. Right there. Uh, 
Okay, so it looks like the wolf class might have that guy under control. Which means it's really hard to tell who has the advantage there. Okay, the werewolf, uh, a wayfarer is downed. Oh, my wolf buddy. Oh boy. get in there let's try and keep behind him we are much faster than he is which is our only advantage because those things are built to uh built to party as we're about to find out he's gonna wreck my face So he just got a bunch of bunch of flux damage done. What I'm trying to do is take out his uh, his engines. I don't have much capability to do that. Hopefully my yep, there we go. Uh, that's just what I was about to say. Hopefully my phase lance will do it. But uh, there we go. Now that guy can get back there and do some damage to him. We're going to try and keep him there. He's focused on that. I was about to say, little wayfarer, you need to get in there and start doing some damage. Come on. Come on. Let's take it down. This is, is going to be a tough fight for us because this guy is in a whole nother class compared to us. engine down so he's a lot slower he's protecting that other engine pretty thoroughly right now but unfortunately for him oh there it goes he can't uh, protect it too much because if he sits with his shields we're gonna take his shield down and tear him down real quick was my original ship. <laughs> oh, these things are so tough. There you go. Get that in there. Get that in there. You got it. Yeah, one down. All right, cool. Woo! That was rough. <laughs> we lost a lot of ships. <laughs> All right. We're going to do some recovery, though. So we can get the wolf class and one of the uh, kites. Oh, we can get that enforcer. We're going to get it. We don't have the crew for it. Damn. Uh, and a... Do we get the buffalo? No, we don't get the buffalo. Those things are garbage. Never get a buffalo. They have no shield and they are wide open to attack. You saw how quick it died when uh, when the fight started. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to recover those. He's going to be a secondary. I was going to take him for myself, but he's got a lot of faults to him. So, recover and pick through wreckage. Lots of free guns. I will take that. And we got a bounty. So we received one, uh, 13,200 uh, credits for for our work there, which is cool. That's, that's awesome. Now, let's check. Let's go to the orbital station is what we're going to do because we need to get, uh, we need to get some stuff changed around. First off, actually. Let's take a look at their ships. So, not very much on that side. 
and a missile destroyer. So this is a new ship. Um, I haven't seen these. I don't know what their capabilities are, so I'm going to avoid it for now. I can't afford one of these. Base field, delicate machinery. Uh, I'm not too ecstatic about this choice, so we're gonna go to the next, uh, the next area. And trade fleets. Medium ballistics, one fighter bay. Nah, I'm not a not a fan of this guy. So, any ship that has one fighter bay, uh, unless you have those ships in mass, it's kind of a waste. Uh, this might be a built-in fighter bay, but uh, I mean, it seems kind of weird. Yeah. And it's got an Omni Shield, so that's not bad, but we're going to go ahead and avoid it, but yeah, there's really not much going on here. Era Strike Ship. Oh, a Factory Ship. Oh, neat. An armored Cruiser. That would be nice in the near future. A light carrier. So it's a support ship, both combat and logistically. They're with a few weapons and only one wing complement. Uh, it cannot lead the fight in the front line. However, adaptable loadouts with large fuel and cargo storage capacity makes it a valuable addition to any small raiding party. So it's a raider? Oh, it, I'm an idiot. It's a carrier. Derp, light carrier. It's got a fighter bay. Derp, derp, derp. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, we spent enough time doing this. Tritachion does not have very good ships um, until I can see what their military is rocking. But we're going to have to do a little more pushing and shoving against enemies before we can deal with that. So... What are we doing? Refit. Let's take a look at this guy here. So, the Nephilim. Uh, let's auto fit you. So, it's already pre overdriven and all that fun stuff. Uh, oh man, they don't have good stuff at all for him. Well, it is what it is, my dude. All right. So, blast doors, reinforced bulkhead, and auxiliary thrusters. It has increased maintenance, erratic fuel injectors, faulty power grids, and a glitch center array. So, this thing is a ton of crap. <laughs> so, we are... Oh, light auto cannons. Ugh. I don't like that one bit. I would much rather it have the Vulcan cannons. I guess it's anti-shield. Alright. It's probably going to get destroyed in the next fight anyway, so... I'm, I'm worried about it, but I'm not at the same time. Uh, crew is under strength, so let's get some boys. Uh, you know what? Let's get some Marines in on this, too. Marines are expensive. 
but we can sell that to kind of put a dent back in it. But you need uh, marines for planetary raids and stuff like that, so they're a necessity. So, alright, repairs, because we didn't have enough people to perform those repairs, and let's roll. So we're going to head back towards the uh, pirate world again and uh, hope and pray that there's a small team packed with uh, shitty frigates. <laughs> hope and pray, hope and pray. Okay. Nothing. So I wonder actually... Raid effectiveness is going to be terrible. Ground defenses are pretty... Ground defenses are too long to cause long-term disruption. I mean, let's give it a try. We lost 15 mara uh, marines, that's a bad thing. You don't want to lose that many marines at all. The raid was successful in uh, obtaining a quantity of various items as well as some credits. Pick through. So we have some stuff we could sell, uh, so that's a benefit of it. Yeah, we lost way too many marines on that run. So we could do a saturation bombardment. <laughs> uh, that'll piss everybody off though. So bombardments basically convert your fuel into missiles. Um, and what you do is just as it sounds, you bombard the planet with uh, with that salvo. So either what one of two things is going to happen when you do that. Um, you're either targeting specific like military installations or you're targeting the uh, the entire planet uh, let's see missile destroyer I don't like that one bit um, what do we have in our fleet you know what? Why not? Let's. Uh, we're gonna do a bounty for the hegemony uh, because they have good money. Good money. Uh, you know what? Actually, we're gonna end this episode here. We're going to continue the next episode doing this bounty. But uh, if you like the episode, feel free to leave a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. If you didn't like the episode, then you know, thumbs down. Do what you want to do. And uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, things you want to see, if it's possible in the game, of course, then uh, let me know and I will give it a try. But yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.